Este television company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Historian Vicente Duclair on the Armenian Renaissance and Genocide. If we want to keep the subject of Artsakh open, we need other authorities. Geram Stepanyan. Our grandmothers used to tell us our history. R.P. Kuzuyan. The story of Mary in the movie Sweet Home Adana. The mayor of New York is accused of accepting a bribe. Jordan presented the film of 11-year-old Artsakh resident to Oscar. Genocide of Armenians, Assyrians and Greeks will be taught in one of the states of Australia. Vicente Duclair, a specialist in genocide, a famous historian and head of the Center for Sociology and Political Sciences, addresses the history of the revival of the Armenian people, emphasizing that after the genocide, culture, art and music became the pillars of the survival and reconstruction of the identity of the Armenians. Duclair emphasizes that Armenians still need international support today and we are obliged to stand by them. He knew about the history of Armenians during the study of the Dreyfus affair, discovering the important role of Emil Zola and associates with the struggle for moral justice. He presented his studies in Armenian in the book Endless Genocide 2023, analyzing the events of 2020 up to 2023. Duclair's next book, Armenian Second, Genocide Committed Against Armenians, The Process of Justice, will be published in 2025. His articles such as Historians and the Extermination of the Armenians played an important role in preserving the memory of the genocide of Armenians, emphasizing that historical strategies must never be forgotten and it is our duty to raise them for a fair world. Talking about the problems of the people of Artsakh on the of Panorama, Geram Stepanyan, human rights defender of Artsakh, emphasized housing provisions and having a decent job. According to Stepanyan, if these problems are solved, a favorable situation will be created for the people of Artsakh. Maybe the goal is to let the Artsakh people live, maybe the goal is not to let the Artsakh people stay in Armenia. The support given is presented as a favor. This is of great vital importance if they were scattered all over the world. After one up to three years, it will be very difficult to talk about the rights of return. We are talking about a return where there will be security and dignity and which must be linked to the right to self-determination. An Armenian, R.P. Kuzuyan, who arrived in Armenia from the USA to participate in the reconsecration ceremony of the Mother Cathedral and the Patriarchal Holy Liturgy, told that their grandparents always told them history so that they don't forget what the Turks did to Armenian nation. When we heard in the USA that Azerbaijan attacked Artsakh and there was a war, Armenians in America were in a very bad situation, she continued. God did not create us to kill each other, but being a Christian country, such pain seems to be with us, noted our interlocutor. Negahan Uskan, an intellectual of Armenian roots, director, documentary writer and activist with oppositional views, talked to Ermeni Haber, AM reporter Ellen Kokchian, about his documentary Sweet Home Adana and the film Zero, who is also Armenian. Uskan presented how he got into the field of film production, what difficulties he encountered during his studies related to Armenians in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia nowadays, and also told about the widespread treasure depth in Turkey. It should be noted that this short film by Uskan was awarded the New Talent Award by Johan van Koiken. Sweet Home Adana attempts to reach a story that has not been reached through oral history and has been erased from the archives and to show the layers that underline its inaccessibility. New York Mayor Eric Adams has been indicated by the New York Southern District Attorney, alleging that he received a bribe from the Turkish government not to make a statement about the genocide of Armenians. Adams is charged with conspiracy, fraud and bribery. It is noted that on the eve of the anniversary of the genocide against the Armenians, in April 2022, the Turkish Consul General at the time, Reyhan Ozgur, demanded guarantees several times from the Deputy Mayor Adams, Rana Basova, of Azerbaijan nationality, so that Adams would not talk about the genocide of Armenians, pointing out that it is an extremely sensitive issue for the Turkish government. Prosecutors note that Abbasova confirmed that Adams would not make a statement, and Adams did not make such a statement either. 
The Jordanian Royal Film Commission has selected the documentary film My Home is Sweet by the Jordanian Armenian film writer Sarin Hayrapetyan to be presented in the Best International Film category of the 97th Oscar Awards. This is reported by Deadline. In the center of the film is 11-year-old Vresh, who lives in a picturesque village of Artsakh and dreams of becoming a dentist. Vresh's life changes dramatically when the war resumes and he's forced to leave Artsakh with his family. After the end of the war, he returns to destroyed homeland. The film has already been screened at the prestigious Sheffield Documentary Film Festival, and the Yerevan premiere took place at the 21st Golden Apricot Yerevan International Film Festival. Sain Harapetian, a Jordanian-Armenian film script writer, now lives in the United States. The final version of the new uh, curriculum for history has been approved in grades 7 up to 10 years in schools in New South Wales, Australia. The program includes a compulsory study of Australian civilian action and humanitarian aid in the First World War. The subject will be introduced in 2027, ensuring all New South Wales school students learn about ordinary Australians and New Zealanders who are humanitarians during the First World War and participated in the initiatives to save the survivors of the genocide of Armenians, Assyrians and Greeks in the Ottoman Empire. More than 25 teachers signed a letter calling for the subject to be included in the curriculum. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.